What is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your second Android app development tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to set up your emulator for Android application because uh, just coding your raw application in one go and then testing your final application is a disastrous idea because many things can go wrong in your code and you would probably spend more time on debugging than compared to your coding one so <clears throat> what you need to have is an emulator well an emulator is just a simulated version of something so for now we need an emulator for our Android device which would just simulate the Android operating system on your computer itself now you could have downloaded the Android emulator with Android Studio Android Studio does come with that but uh, it would be great if you could just go ahead with Gany Motion one because Gany Motion is kind of faster than the regular Android emulator and uh, it is free as well so that's a plus point and so is Android emulator well it's really up to you but I do prefer Gany Motion because it's kind of relatively fast and you could just use it as a phone as well when you're not testing apps so here we go now just go to Google and write Gany Motion and uh, you'll get on the first website getting motion you might need to sign up on this website for the free copy but that's kind of fair so yes these guys do have a paid copy as well which comes with a lot of features but for now we just need a free copy so you could just go with individual and this basic one so it would just ask you to I guess sign up yes because it asked me earlier so you just have to sign up and it would just send you a link or something or it would present you a link and you would finally end up with a setup you just have to install that setup just click on next next and you'd be probably done and once you're done installing that just go to your start and write Gany motion and once you open the application you would get something like this and uh, here we go and I do have two devices ready already so I'm just gonna delete both of them and I'm gonna show you from scratch how to do stuff so when you would you know install it and open it something like this would open so you just have to say add and uh, in my case it doesn't ask me for any login because if you see it I'm already logged in into this application but once you click add here it would probably ask you to log in and you have to just use the same credentials which you used here to sign up and once you do that it will present you with all these free devices which you could access with your free account so you could just probably go with this custom 5 marshmallow API level 21 and just click on next and just name your phone like my phone or something anything would go and you could just change these configurations later on but just click next for now and it would just do some sort of stuff and uh, it would just take a while it would all obviously download some files as well from internet so in my case it doesn't because I guess I had already this device only installed as a list so it already had the files required for this device but in your case it would download I, I don't know it's around I guess 200 to 300 MBs of data so once it's done just click on finish and then click on start and it just say initializing virtual device and all that good stuff so it looks like you are working with a real Android device now so just give it a few seconds and it will just boot up so here you can see that <coughs> a phone pops up right here and it's probably in its off state right now so let's just give it a few seconds to start and right on the right you can see all of these features so you can see that it pretty much loaded nicely and all of these features are your regular Android the GPS then here's the camera I don't have a camera set up right now otherwise it would just act as a front or back camera then you could just go to menu just browse some settings just see all that stuff 
which you have right here you can just scroll down just like a regular phone you can check your about phone then you can tap the bill number actually if your developer options are not open so that you could just make use of the developer options so now it says you are now a developer just go back you can see that developer options is unlocked and pretty much you have access to everything in android for a developer which a developer requires so that's how you pretty much set up a android device on your pc or your on your mac whatever so you could actually use it as a regular device as well but i'm not gonna make use it for now so you could just go ahead and try that and uh, once you're done then proceed to next tutorial and i'll see you then so if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching